On the screen you can see tables showing the route length, type of the line and the name of the major stations in each country. According to available maps, the railway network will begin in Kuwait and extend to Dammam on Saudi Arabia's eastern coast. From there, the network will split into two directions, one towards Bahrain and then Qatar via two sea bridges and the other towards the southern Saudi coast following the eastern shores of the kingdom. The two routes are planned to converge at Salwa port on the border between Saudi Arabia and Qatar. From there, the network continues southward along the United Arab Emirates coast, reaching Abu Dhabi, then extending southward into the desert towards Al Ain on the United Arab Emirates Oman border and further on to Sohar and Muscat on the Gulf of Oman's shores. It will link major urban centers in the region, including Riyadh in Saudi Arabia, Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and Kuwait City. The entire route will span 2,117 kilometers, facilitating the transportation of goods and passengers from Kuwait in the north to Muscat in the south. According to the GCC's plan, passenger trains will travel at speeds up to 220 kilometers per hour, while freight trains will operate at speeds ranging from 80 to 120 km per hour. Once the network is operational, the GCC Railway Authority will coordinate passenger and freight transportation schedules. Local authorities will retain responsibility for maintaining and overseeing operations and receiving transit fees from network users. But the deal does not restrict any country from outsourcing this sector through public-private partnership or even full privatization.